What's going on guys? Rob here. Welcome back to another horror collection video. Basically where I take a horror series and talk about every single film within that series. And today we're going to tackle the Cabin Fever films. Currently there are four films. This one was directed by Eli Roth. Pretty much my favorite Eli Roth film about this uh, skin disease. Uh, which is really, really cool. Um, I like this movie... You know, I like the characters, and um, I just like the effects as well. Um, but it's got Ryder Strong in it, um, Jordan Ladd, uh, Serena Vincent, who uh, <laughs> she's famous for getting naked. I mean, she was completely nude in Not Another Teen Movie. Uh, she was also, I believe, a Power Ranger. I think she was the Yellow Ranger at some point. I'm not really sure what series that was. But this is a crazy movie, man. Like, honestly, the practical effects were great. There's a lot of blood, gore. It does get weird. Like, with this kid who is sitting on the swing at this at this uh, gas station place. And he, he's, like, yelling pancakes and pan like he keeps biting people and it's just it's so weird like Eli Roth likes to do that he likes to plug in weird things in his movies um, but yeah that was just very very strange there are a lot of comedy bits so I guess you could call this kinda of like a horror comedy but anyway I like it first cabin fever then we got cabin fever 2 spring fever now this one, um, I thought it was okay. Um, it wasn't the, the greatest, but it says this is Evil Dead 2 fueled by raging teenage hormones. How dare you compare this to Evil Dead 2? <laughs> There's a swimming pool scene that happens in this movie that um, I believe it was with that girl there. It really grosses me out and not you don't really get to see much but it just what's going on with it it ugh, i don't know ugh. but it's days after the killer virus was consumed uh, uh consumed his friends paul emerges from the uh, ditch by a river and uh you know his body has been ravaged by the virus um, the water bottling plant, they already distributed the contaminated water to a local high school. And so, you know, the, the school's preparing for the prom and then, um, of course they start drinking <laughs> and then that's when, you know, people start getting sick and I mean, the effects are great. I, I will say that the effects are really good, but I like the first one more. Here we have Cabin Fever Patient Zero, which actually stars Sean Astin in it, um, which was really odd. I didn't, I can't really see him in a movie like this, but um, The Birth of Fear. Um, so, yeah, this one um, takes place on an island, and there's like a, uh, a research facility. Uh, where the deadly virus has been, like, made and unleashed. Um, and then Sean Astin, who is actually known as Patient Zero, um, you know, he's been exposed to the disease, but he doesn't show any sim symptoms. Like, basically, he's a carrier. Um, and so they got to find a way to escape the virus as well as the, uh, you know, the island and stuff. So... It's the effects are really good. Um, I just didn't care for the characters or even the story. Um, yeah, I don't. There's Sean Astin right there. It was weird seeing him in this movie, or a movie like this, especially. But uh, yep, that's Patient Zero, and then we have this, the Cabin Fever remake by Travis Z. Um, I don't know why they decided to do this. Uh, this is pretty much like a shot-for-shot -shot remake. 
Uh, a lot of the dialogue is the same. A lot of the scenarios are the same. You know, they're in the cabin. As soon as they get to the cabin, they're having sex. Uh, you know, what's-his-name goes out to shoot squirrels, and you see this guy who's infected. Uh, you know, there are... I will say that there are some scenes that are extended that this film did not show. Um, especially the girl who gets sick and they put her in the barn. Now, that scene was definitely better in this one. She's sick and she's in the barn and... He, he actually tries to kill her with a shovel. Um, it's just, I felt so bad for her. They did that better here than they did in this movie. In this movie, it was quick. Uh, you didn't really get to see much of it. Um, so there were some scenes in this movie that were better. But I still think this was unnecessary. It's the same as the, as the first one. It's the same thing. So... Really, I just I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. At least, at least do something different. Have a different premise or something. Just have a different kind of story. I mean, you could have the virus, but just you know, I actually would have preferred a sequel. Maybe ignore the other ones and just do a sequel to this. You know, like they've been doing with a lot of these movies. But this is a very unnecessary remake. I, I just will say that you know. Um, but anyway, yeah, four films in the Cabin Fever series. Uh, you know, like I've stated, uh, my favorite one is the first one, of course. Um, now, you know, a lot of people, I don't think really a lot of people like this franchise. And that's understandable. But uh, I just like the fact that there's like a killer, you know, flesh-eating disease. Um, and people get infected and stuff like that. That's that's pretty cool. So, anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think of these films. Uh, stay tuned for more horror collection videos. I have a lot on my channel, so if, uh, you know, feel free to look over the channel and um, watch a lot of them. Because I have like Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, Hellraisers. Um, Final Destination, Wrong Turn, uh, just, just a bunch. So, all right, stay tuned for more. It's Rob signing off. See you guys in the next one.